Good morning, everybody. Today we are going to be taking a tour through Italy as we learn about Italian folk songs from the northern and southern regions. And you will get to learn how to identify them by the way they sound. So let's take a look at where this is on the map. Now on the left, we have a map of Europe and you can see this yellow boot shaped country is Italy. So I did a close up map on the right and we're going to be learning about some folk songs from the northern and southern regions of Italy. So first up, we're going to listen to a song called La Bella Caterina. And if you don't already have a paper and a pencil out ready to go, we are going to first listen to this song and I want you to write down what instruments you hear and the mood of the song, does it sound happy, exciting, sad, angry? What are you hearing? So first up is La Bella Caterina. Dietro alla bella e Catarina, catene la vestella re murvese, e sotto la camisa re musolina. All right, take a few moments and finish up writing your answers to these questions. And while you're doing that, um, I'll let you know that this song is from the north, or sorry, the southern region of Italy called Naples. Now you may have heard of this before. It's a pretty popular place in Italy. So this is from Naples. And up next, we are going to listen to Alla Santa de Noe. And this is from the northern region of Italy. And you're going to answer the same questions on your piece of paper. Now, these can just be some quick answers. Don't need to use complete sentences. Um, just whatever comes to mind. So the instruments you hear and what is the mood of the song. So let me pull this for you and we will listen to the next song, A La Sante de Noe. And take another few moments to finish up these questions. So let's talk about what the sound difference was between the northern Alessandra de Noe and the southern regions of Italy, which was the La Bella Caterina. So in southern Italy, we heard one voice and one melody line. So the melody in music is the main part of the song. So that would be um, twinkle, twinkle, little star. It's the part that you sing or you can hum along to. And in Southern Italy, their music is heavily influenced from other countries, including Africa, Greece, and some Arabic influences as well. So that is really typical of their music. And you can hear those influences in this song. In Northern Italy, their music was a lot different. I don't know if you caught on to that. We're going to listen one more time. But they had some Celtic and Slavic influences because there were many people singing, so more than one voice, and they were harmonizing. So harmonizing means creating chords or layering the voices to hear some pretty sounds in there. So instead of just one line, like how I sang Twinkle Twinkle for you, 
there would be many people singing different notes to make it sound pretty. So let's quickly listen to the beginning of each of these songs again and see if you notice these um, aspects of the music. So in La Bella Caterina, we heard one melody, one voice. So this is one man singing, one voice, one melody. And then in Alessante de Noe, we heard many voices layered on top or stacked on top of each other to create the harmony. We heard multiple parts. It's actually considered um, a chorus singing in this song. Here's where we hear those chords, the different parts. So if you remember back to our music from Jiangsu video, we talked about how music from different regions of the same country tell us a lot about the people that live there. And this is true about Italy as well. Um, that We are already hearing that music from the northern part of Italy versus the southern part of Italy are a lot different because of the outside countries that are influencing their culture and their music and their way of life. So it's really interesting how that happens all over the globe. So now I'm gonna play one more song for you. And you can also write this down in your paper. I want you to tell me if this is from the Northern or the Southern part of Italy. So let's pull this up. We are going to listen to Dove Devet o Mariantina. So is this song from Northern or Southern Italy? So let me pull this up for you and I'll put that slide back on the screen. And go ahead and write down your answer. All right, now we're going to listen one more time. I'm not going to give you the answer yet, but I want you to be thinking about, you can write these down, you don't have to. Um, what, or sorry, how many voices are you hearing? Are you hearing many voices? Can you count the exact number? And are they singing all the same notes if there's more than one, or are there many voices singing different notes, different parts creating harmonies? So you're gonna think about, are there more than one voice? And can you count how many if there are? And if there are many voices, are they singing the same note or different notes? Here comes the music. Okay, I will give you the answers to these questions. So there were four voices singing. They were all male voices and they were not singing the same note the whole time. They were singing different notes, creating a harmony. So because there were multiple voices 
creating these harmonies, we can guess that that would be from the northern part of Italy. Here is the trick though. This was actually not from Italy. Now I know I asked you if it was from Northern or Southern Italy, but here's why. This song actually was created in Brooklyn, New York, but the people who created this song, the composers of this folk song, were immigrants from a town called Tyrol, and that is in the Northern area of Italy. So it does stem from there because these immigrants had their roots in Northern Italy, but it was created in Brooklyn, New York, in the US. So this is how we can um, farther tell more about people from their music and their culture, even if they're from the same country. Not everyone in one country is the same. And we know that about each other, right? And that's true for people all over the world. 